Explosions lit up a sky of Beirut as Israel carried out airstrikes in the Lebanese capital. The strikes happened as the world marked one year since the latest war between Israel and Palestinian resistances in Gaza began. Israel's military said fighter jets targeting Hezbollah's positions bombarded southern Lebanon with more than 120 strikes in an hour. They told residents to stay off the beaches and the sea for a 60-kilometer stretch along the Mediterranean. Israeli airstrikes also forced five hospitals in southern Lebanon to shut down, leaving one small hospital on the front line. Staff and medical teams feared the Israeli military is no longer differentiating between civilians and military targets and that they could face the same fate as Palestinians in Gaza. <laughs> Zaid added that the hospital grappled with diminishing resources, hoarding fuel as roads are becoming hard to access. We see the same pattern now in Lebanon. All the hospitals south of the Litani River are closed down. All the five hospitals. There is no hospital from the border to Israel and until you come to Nabatia now because of attacks from the Israeli army. We have had at least eight paramedics, ambulance paramedics killed since I came here last week in the southern parts of Lebanon. And um, we see now that the attacks on the, the hospital system also take place in Beirut. So it is the same pattern in Gaza and in Lebanon. The Islamic Health Committee Emergency Service, which is affiliated with Hezbollah, said seven emergency personnel died in direct Zionist aggression on emergency teams at the Madjayun Hospital. Meanwhile, four others were killed in two attacks in South Lebanon. Hezbollah has long become one of the allies for Palestinian resistance group Hamas. Since the wake of October the 7th, the Lebanese-Israeli border has been hit almost every day by shootouts from both sides.